idea. The line. Yeah. Yeah, that it didn't mean Tell it you, land. Talking about ideas and team play, lads, check this out. That's a pistol round with three sets of utility. That is one thing to be excited about here. Uh, so three smokes, a bunch of flashes, and a Molotov. Now, we have seen teams opt for Fake a resmoke. Well, even just a resmoke on CT spawn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that can be enough just to win you the pistol round as long as you can trade into the site. And it's just missed them here. So the smokes are coming. The uh, fight is on its way. And it's going to end as soon as it begins. I mean, what is missed them to do? We play retake. They are going to surge four? Four down banana? Yeah, missed them. We'll try and keep them on their toes, but four trundling straight into Buzz, who's playing an off angle here, hoping not to be cleared, and now, oh, oh. catches a timing and doesn't find a kill. They all smoke off this CT retake, and pushing it is Blame, a nice headshot oh. too, for good measure. Already just cutting them down to size, Blame. Forward positioning on the smoke, Zipex with a quick tap <laughs> to miss on, them. Oh. Come on, that goosh. <laughs> on the jump. He's alive. One point of health. Come on, Blame, man. Give him a chance. He was in the zone right there. Wasn't he? How often you see Blame pushing through a smoke? Very rarely. So you can see he was licking his lips. Buzz is going, I gushed him, I gushed him, I gushed him. So Blame's like, I've got this, boys. Don't you worry about it. Swish is going to hold on to a molly, a smoke, and a kit. That's actually quite a fair amount of cash he has on his belt there. What are we talking? 1.3k? Yep. That's not bad exactly. for Swish to save. So Nice. A good pistol for Astralis. I mean, Blame F against pistols is a different beast, really. It seems so calculated and measured any time there's rifles against him in the server, but even on a pistol round, you get this sort of aggression, and we are all witness to it. It is. I want to see more from Buzz, because Device obviously saw something when they were playing Phaser together, so I want to see it here in the Tier 1. And Kakanito trying to make a name for himself, and exactly that's a big clutches on Mirage. Looking to start off strong here on Inferno as well. Has found the opener and is looking for some more. You heard from him uh, in that little dating piece. If you could have a dinner with three players, Nico and Hunter were on that list, and you can understand why. I think they want to play Counter-Strike in a similar way, or at least Kakanido does. No, it's worked out well for the Deagle. Now, device responsible. Swisher to set his teammate up for success, and it's a perfect flash. No trade available, and Astralis are now limping. That's They've lost two players and a rifle. Yeah, this is real problems for Astralis here. One player searching uh, a banana alone. No, thank you. Kakanito, you, that's cool, man. It's cool. It's plenty. It's plenty. Gets away with his life and another frag. Turning the corner, still somehow miraculously alive on first orange. Throws the rifle on his back and his teammate hits the head. Nice from Swisher. And Buzz, what's he supposed to do? This has just looked very flat. Astralis' second round. Impossible. Gakanito, a quad kill in that I one. Just rips them to shreds on Banana. And he gets loud too. Right? What was it? Was it Spray yelling before I heard you mention yes. it? Something like that. He's the, the coach definitely letting Astralis know who they've got. I mean, DJ's been getting loud as well. I've been hearing pretty much everybody from ATK yelling at Astralis. And this was just such a great setup at Top Banana for Kakanito. You can see those flash assists coming in from Swisher. And the timing on him, just impeccable. Just constantly frustrating Astralis. Yeah, you were mentioning Swish before we got into this series. The output still, how's he been for you so far? Has he been delivering the way you want? I think this series was probably his weakest one thus far, and yet they are pushing Astralis. So, in some ways, I think he's doing his job. Whoa! You see how much damage he inflicted. It was a good spray on the Galil, but now in its vault to Swisher to step up and deliver. Three, as you call his name, Maui, he does deliver. Holds Astralis at bay and a nice clean finish here. Give him, Give him for the ace. One more bullet would do it with the USP. An ace for Swisher. Just as you call the uh, underperformance here, he does rip Astralis out of the server. And yeah, they are pushing Astralis. I mean, sure. conversion of ATK. And yeah, this is a big one for them. Otherwise, we're going to start to see the CT side really erect quite a comfortable financial position. Clear indication from this banana control that ATK want to fight, right? They use the Furia smoke, call it whatever you want, to force out the gap, right? Extinguish the T side molly, but Device is still going to grab that kill through the smoke regardless. So, sure, they had banana control momentarily, but now they're down in a 5v4 disadvantage situation, and Astralis can pick their poison on the sites right now. Those tracers betraying Swisher there, as Device was able to pick up that opener. But still a strong setup on the A side. Good lean from ATK. It does seem like Astralis are indicating that they want to favor the A side on this attack. Yeah, that molly right there, though, is great for Kakanito to see, right? It's like, oh, you know that 
we still may have complete banana control. That Molly does nothing. Sure, it keeps him... Oh, hold up. It's oh. actually drawn a huge rotation. Yeah, that's... This is a bad gamble call. Unless... <laughs> Unless DJ gets three kills. Yeah. Yeah, Voden's not going to get too much done unless he catches the maddest timing. Flames there at the smoke. Oh, okay, that was the bomb. That's the bomb. That's going to turn the round on its head. As now they can strike from every angle. Oh, Device, what? the last of four. Makes sense of that one. What did he see? That's unbelievable. What's he looking at? <laughs> How did he. I don't even. Bowden? Bowden. Right? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, there is definitely, um, you know, the coach is watching behind. We've got the referees in place. <laughs> Come on now. What? Smoker, vi smoker vision for the banana Device, kill. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right, all right. I don't think we... How? What? We can't see traces there. But he no, adjusted he just, just enough. He just shot. It might, I mean, yeah. I think cre some credit goes uh, to DJ2, though. Yes. Staying alive in pit, finding the multi-frag there. We didn't get to see it as much, but I mean... <laughs> oh, you just we, killed an observer when you said that. Every time you say, on, we didn't man. get to see it, you kill an observer. Well, an observer yeah, then I, we like saw pixies. something more interesting. Yeah. yeah. So oh, it wasn't that he chose okay. the wrong thing or the trying, worst thing. Don't cry. Don't, don't cry. Maui's not being... He's Maui. Maui's not being... You know Maui? How about you come over here, man? <laughs> you got that Zipex kill there as well, would you? After watching Sponge do it, I actually don't want to observe at all. <laughs> I don't it's wanna... Inferno, man. It's nice and smooth. That is true. It, there's a lot, it's Long a lot more focus, very action. annoying. Does it become like a kind of a symphony rush? Like you, when you play the Inferno symphony, does it start to kind of oh, almost yeah. play the same? I'm playing a piano. Yeah? Like sometimes it genuinely feels like Like that. it starts with like the banana like now, rush. I then show the them grouping up here. Yeah. You know, Glaive's going to throw a smoke. There's a moto and a long smoke Four's available gonna here. Oh, they're going to long wrap. Oh, yeah. You'll get smoked. Off, oh. Maybe, they maybe not. Wrap. It's a moto. And then look at that. I'm Smokes. watching Zipex in the apps here. He's probably going to die, but that's, you know, it's a tough spot. It's a tough <laughs> spot. And then now they're just swinging. This gets a little tricky because oh. it's a little back and forth here. But the round is getting interesting, boys. You might have to take this one no, away. Keep going, oh, never keep mind. Going, Blame F in a 1v5. 4 3 here. Yeah. He's going to have to ace clutch. No, keep it's going, not, rush. though, but I just wanted keep to going, say rush. it. They're pushing him down now. The bomb is going to make it down. There's going to be some huge kills, but. Missed him, takes nice it away, boys. absolutely yeah. takes it away nice from him. Boys. Oh, that's Ru nice. DJ with a big smile on the face there. Rush, did you ever observe and commentate when you were coming up in the space? No, no, I didn't do it. I know that's very common, though. He's a professional Daisy uh, content creator. I don't know if you know about this. He has right. on his YouTube channel, Rush one two three four five six. Really? You can go check. No, seriously. Yeah. You can go check out oh. some of his early Daisy content. He used to play with uh, a guy called PSI Syndicate. Frankie on PC. Oh, I did play one oh. time played with Frankie on PC. Oh, that's the bunny hop expert. The B-hop oh, uh, that's professional. Like, didn't Launders yeah, launder. forward for a fight extinguished from Blame, so he should be able to get this banana in trouble. Will he be expecting Bowden's AWP? The flash is good, the frag is not. Bowden gets to recover and he even takes down the B on the other side. Yeah, that's Blame out of the equation. Kakanito even having a little look down mid. Yeah, Glaive's going to accelerate. Frisky, isn't it? Yeah. They are definitely flying by the seat of their pants, but it's certainly working. I like the boiler molly that they're throwing here as well. I don't know if we can get a highlight on that, but they are throwing a little bit up the stairs here. So if they do creep down, you can see their tootsies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are tootsies? Feet. Feet. Yeah. yeah. Toes or feet? Uh, toes specifically. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Thanks for the tootsie translation. Tootsie toes. Yeah. Tootsies. Yeah. That, I never really thought about. So tootsie rolls or toe rolls? I don't I guess know. They're in the shape of a of a, finger, of, of a foot finger. What kind of? Fetish just came up with those. I'm not yeah. sure, but there's good defensive utility on this B bomb site here. Bodenmaster has a Bowden molly. Bodenmaster would love one. And now firing off his shot, his options are limited. It forces out his incendiary, and it seems Astralis have been kept at bay by the smoke. They throw another oh, layer of missteps. It's so much trouble. We'll go down in the war of attrition. Swisher and Device changes oh, places, and he's got another one through. Straight through the head of Device. Fading smoke Ooh. covered by Buzz. That's a good save, but the frags keep on going as it leaves Swisher and DJ both coming in from CT. They're still biffing, they're still brawling, they yeah. still want to take this fight. They got kids, they got time. Glaive and Buzz, they're wondering if they want to double swing together. Oh no, Zipex just caught out, no one holding the walk up. Emo next fight, and it's too easy. A one-on-one, -on -one. Swisher will close it out. Four Let's kills from Swisher, and ATK yeah. continues.
you to get under Astralis skin. Swisher has been a monster on this map already. That was just perfect execution from him. No utility, no hope. Felt like the crossfire from Astralis should have swallowed him up at one point. How but does Zipex get caught out like that? I don't just know. Perfect. Well, it's not his fault. It's he's, not. He's been sold down the river in that situation. That Swisher kill onto Device that you see just... This one here. Yeah. Okay, that's how that happens. Uh -huh. So he catches him just coming out of the smoke. But Zip's mad as hell, right? Oh, I would be tilted, yeah, mate. You're, you're responsible for ruins. You have no info. You know one's coming CT. That's Surely it's new box for Emo. One of those has to be taken a but look. This is what Yanko talks about with communication. It's not just communicating what you can see. Heads up would have been great. This is a 6-1 start on a map that has Holy. been hedging T-side at the upper echelons of Counter-Strike. This is a great start and even better. <laughs> Missed him slapping Device down again. The fights keep coming as he's rounding up for more. Holy moly. This is this is looking like a collapse from Astralis. If, this is an elimination game. Yeah, this if they walk away and don't even take down ATK, this roster needs to take a long, hard look back at itself, and it looks like that's exactly what they'll be presented if ATK keep this up. Oh. Alex, I, I, I know you're a fan of this. Give me a bit of a slap around, Matt. I feel like I, I feel like I'm still bloody sleeping. Oh my lord. I mean, look at ATK's recent results, dude. There is not a single green result on their HLTV page right now. Losses well, to Bad News Eagles, Endpoint, Fours, Copenhagen Flames, Ents, Liquid, and now Astralis, the winningest organization in Counter-Strike, could be getting eliminated at the hands of ATK. This is, this is this, I, I, can't, I can't even begin to write a script of where Buzz on 13 HP and Zip on 51 wins a 2v5 situation with 35 seconds left. This no. is 7-1. Yeah. This is a 7-1 yeah. scoreline. This is going like this. Yeah, it's, it's just over. It, it's hard to fathom how Astralis could crumble under these circumstances, but here they are, and they're doing just that. <laughs> I mean, these deaths as well, they're not fun. You know, they're not like uh, close, traded duels. It's... Very much one-way traffic. Yeah, <clears throat> that's a nasty way to conclude. I'm going to take one of my ear cups off so I can hear 14. the ATK. He's got 14 kills already, Swisher. Yeah, he's having a good time. In fact, that is pretty much the uh, the grand total of all of the Astralis players. What are they on? 9, 10, 11, close. 12. Yeah, really not far close, off. Yeah. The whole of Astralis just one frag over that. And this is how it all went down. You can see just these perfect... Is that what I was going to say? Flashes? Yep, Swisher set him up for that one, not a team flash. But in this situation, if you're ATK, the one thing that you need to make sure you do not drop the ball in a round like this. It's been going for 16 minutes. That's incredible. 16 minutes. Oh, oh no. Wow. This is a gun round, and he's just gone and got away with that. The deep smoke down mid, peek around, and Bowden takes device out of the round first. Already Astralis walking wonky. A boost from Mr. Oh, it's glorious. They get away with every move, every trick in the book. What, the, Astralis need to take some pace out of the game. A timeout? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that as well, but also just play the slowest of default. Right. Allow the opening moves. Allow the utility just to be thrown and nothing. Because Inferno is a map on the T-side where you can wait for the opening gambit and then take the map control back. You don't have to fight immediately. Yeah. It's nice to. You have good moves to be able to do so, but you do not have to. You can just wait for the banana control and then take it back on your own and put a bit more pressure, boiler and halls. And if you don't want to do that, you, you don't have to. You can even play three second mid and two base mid and just wait. And and wait for the first 30 seconds, then make a call here. Because Astralis, you're getting pumped. They're just, they just look shell-shocked. They, they seriously look shell-shocked right now. And it's going to be a desperate exec into the B bomb site. Missed him. He's deployed the defensive smoke. Trying to find something on the edge of that. And Swisher with the boost. He's the one that will be able to be activated here. And missed him with oh, the swing there. Wild. Actually gives up the chase a little bit prematurely. Go on. Kakanita. Go on. <laughs> Kakanita pushes straight through the CT smoke for another round. Just when I thought, oh wait, an unforced error. Here we go, ATK have let it go. No, Kakanito straight through the smoke, catches. And of course, the, priori the target prioritization there was perfect. You know one of them's planting. You know they're going to take a while to get that gun back out. And this is the opening. I mean, Device, he was so early up the stairs, just not expecting an AWP to be so posted forward. It's also difficult there if you're Swisher to be, hey, do I want to fight or do I want to sit back, crouch, where they can't see me or the cusp of the smoke and then take the fight where Mr. engages. Trolls have been an autopilot ever since Mirage started. And ATK, I mean, they're feasting because of that. Oh. But Device, all right, he's chiming in. Maybe a little too late, but still, it has to start here for him. Bit of swagger there as well with how quick he just started to surge up Banana. Now you can see Swisher actually 
think he's just picking up more utility from Spawn here. He's going to try and puff up his chest and seem a bit bigger than he actually is. So if he can delay this B site and send them into the... Oh, flash forward fight here. Kakanita on the step, finds one blind, but cannot convert the Molly to flush him wide. Buzz will have to dip on back and actually takes a big chunk of damage. They're expecting that swing. Bowden's going to the right direction. If they hedge B... Well, they're not going to now. There's no... There's that's actually not bad. That should delay just enough time here. And look what Astralis have left. Just a smoke and a couple of flashes. Oh, uh, they're in uh, hot water here, Chad. Oh. They're in hot water. I mean, DJ, it looks like he'll be the one pressured in pit, and he's been a beast so far. Ten Still and three. Still has his smoke too, Mal. Yeah, exactly. And Kakanito could just chop him down right here. This is he wants one, right? He'll take two, but... Just something upon this initial swing. He's going to do it on his own. He's got no support. Timing everything. Oh. They line up, but he does take two. Now DJ is going to be tested. That smoke is down. Trying to play around it, and it's Bowden with the AWP. He's going to lose his head. Zipex a nice find, but a response from DJ. Just a two on live. two. Just needs to survive. Oh. Device catches him. Tip of the head. A nice shot over the hay bale. And puts Swisher into a one versus two. Look at his scoreline. He has definitely awoken from his slumber. Now, they don't know he's here. You can still see that BlameF is worried about the library side and Device is investigating top middle here with the AWP. The bomb yet to be halfway a tick, but getting bloody damn close. If he finds these two fights quickly, they're both slightly congregated sight and short here. This is doable. It Damage depends. is good as well. Yeah, target selection. Uh, it's going to be a hard one for him given the time. Maybe he just wants nah, to make it, it yeah, financially uh, punishing. He's going to stick around, maybe hear them retreating. Blame's on his way. Timing everything. There it is. Takes another weapon away. Swisher wants to take Device's AWP down too. Device is still pretty close to the bomb here. He should be able to get away down mid here, even with the new radius, and both of them will survive. So 10 HP for Device almost went down there, but Device had to have a bit of Zywu about him in that round and just run up Banana and get an opening pick to make that one even possible. So at least uh, back into winning ways for their second round. Maui, what are you going to... How many... Is it, is it ATK now? They lose this one, they lose the next out of money, and Australia's get 9-6? Ooh... No, I think ATK just keep on fighting. Okay. That, 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 that. Oh, proactive, and they really, I, I don't think they're going to give that up anytime soon. This is a very clear call off the spawn, off the rip, three second mid. They want to go for something apps early, up mid perhaps. Device, he got three to put their second round on the board, but T side orping up mid, not easy. Glaive, a mag test, runs around the corner and straight into Kakanito. Nice it looks blind. too easy. He had full vision and all the time in the world to unload his magazine. Two Danes now dead. More to come, more to follow. Timing on the jiggle is Kakanito. Racks up a third, it's falling apart. <laughs> you know, Astralis were a part of that conversation. It's, you've got- They were definitely in orbit. Na'Vi, Liquid, yeah, they're in orbit. They're one of the moons, you know? Or do we, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Everybody from ATK is just feeling it right now. I think this is what cracked looks like. Like, they're yeah. just cracked right now. Oh, that was ridiculous. I'm talking no CD key required. <laughs> <laughs> and the confidence to go for these type of fights as well. They don't feel like they're playing against Astralis. No, <laughs> no it's like for some, someone told them, like, just imagine it's an NA scrim. The, the fear of God has just not been instilled right. in ATK whatsoever. They, they, they feel like they can win any duel versus any of their players. Look, yeah, they're just fl flying down mid. They have to 60 fight, though. seconds, they, they want info. B, so they have to fight here. But it's, um, it's great info, smoke. though. He could get a smoke down in time. It's a bit late. It's a bit late. Yeah, he's not going to be able to delay. They are across. This is the best chance we've seen from Astralis. They're already pushing down mid, though. This is going to be such a fast Bone? retake. He's going to have a look. He doesn't have the health for this fight. He just doesn't have the health. He's a dead man. Oh, a lovely angle. He will convert. One back from Kakanito, could just put one bullet in the right place onto Zip, forces it wide with the flame, the spray's good, spread good, better. Two on two. Have a smoke as well here. That could be over towards the Coffin's position now, you just need to focus sight and CT, and oh, there it is. They're taking this one back. Yeah, Kit's a present. Bomb just approaching that halfway mark. Glaive looking for his second frag in round 14. It's Blame, good opportunity with one down, and it's Blame F. Holds fast for the third. First real misstep for ATK there in terms of reading the play. You were right. They got the information. I think Mistem's death was the unacceptable yes. one there because if he stayed alive, he could have applied some pressure from Spawn or Coffins. This just, was the shot to open the round. That was bloody beautiful. Uh, if you're, if you're Mistem towards oh. CT there, you just can't die there. Even, even if you feel like it's a free spam with no tracers, you just you had to hold on to that position. Even holding on to Ruins would have just been acceptable at that point. Just your whole team is on such a quick flank. Flash forward. Let, have different boosts some ways to tackle Banana here. Bowden Masters AWP is actually committed to Sandbag. That's a very curious place to be playing the AWP, Mr. Bowden Master. 
Nice retake utility from Estrada. It's redundant for now, but it does enable them to assume it's clear close. Deep's flash will delay their progress. Misstem, this is this is ballsy. Yeah, just hold. It might work. Timing is flawless. Well, no, there's two there now. They need to react off that info, Astralis. They need yeah. to get a move on towards A. That, but there is still very an established three here, and actually Bowden is going to make it four. By the time they round this corner, already Bowden established. Glaive smoked off. Does catch Bowden on rotation. A little bit of a slip up there from the AWP and Swisher losing health rapidly down as well to Zipex. A singular clap from <laughs> Echo through the studio as Astralis recover a fourth. Yeah, finally breaking through here, right? And that was going into a stack, which is what they've had issues with. They were able to just hit the necessary shots. I don't know who was harassing Swisher there and where from. It must have been through the corner of the box, but Mr. This would be one, one on four for the ages. Yeah, uh, I think Zipex is going to be swinging out of that if he's required. Uh -oh. A very good brand of Counter-Strike. Could get caught off by this though, Chad. Surging down middle with nothing to report. Hidden logs, hiding around, and actually ships in the night, going up second mid. They don't know he's here, oh. uh, but Glaive will still clear. The rest of them need to trundle quite quickly in towards this A site. It's Buzz to respond from short. They're going to be three gallivanting out the apartment's position. Spotted, first shot missed, and they're in towards the pit. The fight is on. Yeah. Opportunities overcome now, DJ through. Bomb will get planted. Yeah, and they're wrapping on in. Mistem is responsible for this mid fight. Will tuck in. Doesn't need to take any unnecessary engagements. Bowden with him on pit side. No kit for this. Yeah, it's going to require a lot of action here. Glaive just chipping away, trying to distract on Moto. They crawl up hay bale. What's this device. flash for? Oh, he's gone down. Problems now. There's the need flash. to keep rotting the clock. ATK have the advantage despite the opening for Astralis. Bowden can't quite find the headshot, but still time on his side. Just need to survive. Uh -oh. And they do close out. Nice recovery from Astralis. It's Zipex especially with three on the USP. That's necessary. Didn't play those uh, those crossfires very well at all, did they, ATK, considering the power positions that they had right there. So just getting their heads ripped off. And that's Blame, Glaive, and Zip all contributing to make that one possible. And this is where the inexperience of ATK is going to start to come in here. Now, Kakanito goes down sure, but they're able to get out of the apartment. It's a good reaction. The bomb goes down. And as I mentioned, it felt like they had some decent positions on the bomb side to make this. Oh. That's a nice shot from Zip, isn't it? Jeez. But this inexperience, if they close up a mid during all of this. Bowden Master and DJ have already started to creep around long. It's going to leave Device and Buzz to hunker down and bunker down towards this A side of the site. Ooh, yeah, Bowden's got a really nice timing. He hasn't gone across. He actually went forward, so a 1D will head. Shot. Oh, Needed no. that. Yeah, that was his chance. Now it should be the M4 just racking him up. One down. Blair Glaive could get overrun here. Glaive could, and he does get overrun. It is a bad call. It's There's a bad no call. four here. It's a very bad call. Blame so comfortable on that first one. Mistem doesn't have the health to do, to juke it out with Blame. Hoping Gakanito can catch him on the distraction as his back is turned. Mistem advancing. Gakanito catches his own flank. And now it's a two-on-two. This on is two. weird now, Alex. Very weird. It, it, Kakanito wants to go B, but is smoked off. Blame is in Banana. They have a good idea that he's there. He's Mistem is in the B bomb site, and Buzz is still in pit during all of this. The strangest thing that could happen here is Mistem walking into the site and hiding and Blame coming back, clearing it, and going, well, nobody's home. But time is the biggest problem here. 30 <laughs> this is seconds. so weird. Yeah, because they're expecting some kind of a fight. This is so weird. Blame's, I mean, he's a smart cookie, right? Uh -oh. Kakanito needs to play first. He needs to play first here. Mistem can't smart do anything. or something. That would be crazy cool. No, he might catch him on a timing. Oh, he's, he's playing oh. him. He's playing. Oh, okay. But still, what's Kakanito supposed to do? Well, he's going to play for the clutch now. Oh, I thought he was. Blame. Good patience. Great patience. Missed him. You're not winning this one. I'm sorry, mate. Yeah, he's hoping Blame just overlooks this forward position. Oh, and he does not. Well, it was a solid attempt from ATK. I mean, the recovery of sorts as they headed towards Blame, but it's, it's actually Blame that, that ruins everything for them. Yeah, I don't envy the decision-making from Kakanito and Mistem there because there was no really good option. And they probably haven't ever been in a scenario yeah, like so that. So strange, how, how right? How rare is a scenario uh, like that? I have full B access and my teammates know where and to be found. And he can't join me because of his HP and because of Blame's positioning. Like, that was a very unique uh, set of circumstances and the Blame just played it so well. I yep. mean, the fact that, oh, God, live! Live! And Bowden thrives! You see oh, wow. Blame's reaction there, right? The fact that he goes down to that, that was, was Silent Stem 4. We saw it on the other side of the server in the first half to miss them. You're not always safe. Right? Four Silent Stem 4 still for Astralis and miss them. Owns them. Oh, they're rushing. They don't need to rush this. There's a minute left, boys. There's yeah. a minute left. You commit it now. The bomb's oh. down. The bomb's lose. This no. is troublesome. Uh, Buzz could have peeked over the smoke as they were distracted by the Glaive frag. This is a gap. 
Gaganito. He's a creeping and a crawling. Glaive's not going to be prepared. Great screen on the way out and an advantage extended. Only Zip can save them now. And it's Buzz from the pit as well. Both towards A. Bombs committed. 35 seconds now and you do have to play this right. Bowden's low. Gaganito too. Really falls to Swisher. He's been having a fantastic time. 21 frags from him, but they need this one. They put all their pennies into this round. A nice find, good push, and there it is, ATK. This is the change up here, just to try and make a, something happen. This device picking middle, a Ooh. nice tag there onto Kakanito. So much damage done, and an aggressive banana play. Device has been goosed, despite his coming. I'm scared. And you should be, because these pistols behind the smoke are very, very pesky. They will deal with Glaive. Gets a bit of taste of his own medicine there, the uh, Smoko Master himself. And they will back off, so uh, look, I do get worried for the T side in rounds like this, when you have two players who are low and there's still a scout in play. The biggest luxury they have is Device was also tagged to 15 points of health here, so he cannot assume too much of an aggressive line during all of this. Kakanito has the bomb. He can't get too disconnected from the pack here. And this is very much so looking like an A play. Device and blame to receive. Yeah, it's up to Mistem to hold the B push as well. Back is turned. Careful. Zip eggs and Buzz. Got him for you. Bowden does adjust. Kakanito could have been caught out. He has the bomb, so Buzz will have to hope he can have the element of surprise if they do choose to return. Oh, Kakanito's coming back. Yeah, does give away the bomb, but he's a dead man. And they line up for him, Buzz. Remember, Mistem's low. Huge impact, Mistem still low. It's three from the 5-7. Buzz has given Astralis a chance. Wait, look where Swisher is. Swisher can win the round right here, right now. <gasps> he hits so much. But Blame's a B holder. They might go to A. Tr Blame's traditionally in the oh, B you're side. Right. You're so right. They're going to just go in willy-nilly. Oh, I have no idea where he is. Don't have to rush this. 20 seconds. He's playing it so smart. Will they clear it? There's no way you clear it. It's blame. At least a safe plant. But he's got a real element of surprise here. That first deagle frag, that first click has to be masterful. That's perfect. A one-on-one -on -one DJ tagged up by device as well. The scout sets him on a silver platter. Now blame needs to be the closer to inject some life oh! into Astralis. Blame does close, and Astralis will steal a seventh. It's thanks to Buzz and Blame. Oh, the fact that Buzz gets three kills in that 5-7, assuming the same angle for kill after kill. I said it will get worried about the T-sides when they are chipped down low on HP, and you see exactly why. I feel that it wasn't a terrible round there, but after they killed the second wave of the banana push, they were lulled back into thinking, hey, baby B's a little bit lighter here. It was that zip kill. They come back. They just get munched away at here by the stack. Snapping Turtle and Blame. Beautiful stuff here for the close. Going to keep the minute here. It's a very nice... With five HEs. So let's look at the placement of these. They're going to try and chip down some of these members on ATK to make the MP9s a little bit more serviceable, as well as the M4s. They haven't used any... Oh, I tell a lie. There goes a couple. So ditched on out, looking for damage. Not a whole lot to report here. And there you go, down the back pocket oh. of Kakanito. The late HEs, they do profit. Yeah, that's a big one. That's exactly why you bring the HEs to the party on Banana. Explosive from Astralis. Buzz and Device. This new partnership about to be tested on the balcony position. He actually hides inside and pushing back out into the spray. Miss Dem delivers. ATK. More nade damage inflicted by Astralis, but they are into the site. Bowden will plant. This should be a save traditionally, right? But we have seen some funky things in this game. However, Device with his posture right now will confirm exactly that. So, killing some chickens with that frustration. Let's see if he grabs a third. Can he get... Oh, he's kind now. He killed the first two. He felt a little bit bad about it. Yeah. Understood that maybe everybody at home loves chickens. Or oh, it's actually more masochistic because he wanted the remaining chickens to mourn the ones he'd taken from us. Oh. Yeah. Well, if there's nobody to remember them. It wouldn't be then. masochism either, would it? Because he's not hurt himself. Certain yeah. chickens, unless perhaps he was related to the chickens in some capacity. Device could be related to Part the chickens. Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody hell. Well, 13. They do get another second taste of the same buy. Just Buzz will force to get something thrown his way. It's not going to be ideal. Probably an SMG of some description. And ATK will get to uh, have an... Apartments has been blocked off for the next 20 seconds. That will reroute them through the boiler. A long smoke out to play. Banana aggression from Zip and Blame during all of this, but it's just an A fa face here. They're coming in fast. Device in the site needs to get one and will. The AK to profit oh. for the double up. Device just keeps on eating on A. Oh. That is four on the door, and it's just Kakanito nowhere to be found. Yo, Device on the rifle. 
He's definitely always been known as a proficient all-rounder. And just when Astralis really needed a, just a, a, a shutdown round, a clean one, you just saved, you have a, a less than idyllic buy. It'd be nice to get these three MP9s Precisely. looking a bit more long yes. and girthy. Yes, that's the issue right now, is they're a bit kind of um, embarrassing. It's small. cold in the studio, so, you know, that's that's yeah. why. You know, some the cold, some people are showers, some people are growers, and right now Astralis are hoping to grow. To eight. Nice and above average, but certainly not ideal. There it is. Eight secure. A whole lot more required from Astralis. ATK, that's... I mean, that one... Do we have to attribute that to an ATK fumble, or can we just go and, and sh levy some praise to Device? Uh, so a they, four man spray down. That doesn't happen without some sort of error. They know they knew they were against four saved guns. They just didn't know what the saved guns were. So wow. this is the same thing that we were uh, critiquing Astralis for in the first half was executing blindly. And this is essentially what ATK did in this round. It, we could see that they had. Take a look at this here. Astralis will have to play forward for info. And I can see that at least Blame and Glaive were considering it towards the long side until this smoke was deployed. So that will put a bit more pressure on Device. And yeah, Glaive, he understands that they are in the dark now. They need info. Mid's going to be called clear. This will free up the rotation. Go, DJ go, 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 DJ go. needs to catch this, and he's just started running back. If he's noisy, Glaive's heard him. Glaive's heard him. It's all on Zip. Zip needs to delay this for as long as he can. The rotation of Blame is coming there. The sight, and that nice. is DJ down and out. Them does respond. Catches they should fall back. They should cancel. They don't have to go, but they are charging through the smoke and across the pool. A big spray from Zipex. Planning first orange is not okay, ideal. Not yeah. ideal. They are going to get it down, but this is going to be so hard to hold on to. Zipex just it next to you. in. Oh, dear. What Ooh. is going on here? Okay, yeah. Couple oh. of uh, couple of moments of... Opportunities to avoid disaster for ATK there, but a good heads up play from Glaive pushing through that smoke, understanding the situation for the info, and, and DJ just got caught on that time swisher and some light util. As this time around, Glaive will get the mid run boost just for info. Also, if you see that run boost, it simulates that maybe it is an AWP as well. Oh, where, where did their health go? I mean, this charging through. The flames, it doesn't go too well. And we are seeing a couple of bullets connect for ATK, all sorted. This is wild. 11-4 uh, half. You a 4-on-4. Four yeah, four. yeah. Yeah, you did. You really did. Mm. But maybe, just maybe, they've got some gravy left in the tank here. They do say that the easiest time to add insult to injury is when you're signing someone's cast. Let's see if we can get a little insult into the injury here. ATK, giving it all they've got. Swisher walking on towards the long side. Glaive responsible for this one. He's going to get two kills here. Yeah. Oh, good flash. Missed him. Missed this, ha him. this happened twice. Missed him. Hello. Missed him. Okay. Glaive does communicate That's the information. The Bowden Brave does shut down Glaive. And now perhaps this is the pincer maneuver they've been waiting for. Well, it's the boulder on B. He's got a smoke. He's got a molly. And, and he's, he's got to defend. Oh, and he's copped a heavy damage blow. Bowden. Huge impact on that T side off. DJ holding for the Smith. Clear, nice clear from Buzz. Ready for it. Device still idle on the A side. Wants to perhaps uh, maintain his AWP. They have got so much cash to splash though. Buzz is having a look. Gonna try and find a kill or two here. He's really quite aggressive about all of this. He's done an awful lot. Like considering the time, he's done well to take top banana back. But yeah, Device is just not interested. <laughs> and look what they've planted for. They're playing in CT spawn here. They're actually picking up excess utility. You. We'll take those flashes. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. That's a little pocket saver right there. Delicious. And 14. So just as it was starting to look bleak, look, Buzz is here for damage. Device is the one who's going to find some. Buzz will also grab a kill. We should be going down with the bomb here. But he's happy to make that sacrifice knowing they have plenty of money to spare. So they were just looking to remove a couple of rifles. There's only two drops available. So Oof. you can see here, if we have the conversation right now, Bowden and Kakanito can drop AKs, but that means whoever has the most left over on ATK has a few options. Galil with U2 or a MAC-10, right? So you, you will have to see, it looks like Swisher is the one who'll have to make the emissions in the purchase. So the damage, it's been felt, but now it's just two. Exchange. One for one. But that's what you're looking for here. You want to draw out that util over towards B. You want to soften them up. It's going to mean that they're going to have to play different types of setups that aren't utility dependent here. And I feel like they've caused exactly what they were looking for. Kakanito parked towards the top of Banana. Now they turn their affections towards the top of middle here. So going through the paces on a default spread. Deep porch molly. 
Long smoke in play. Top mid control garnered. Kakanito listening for the rotates and lurking on the B site here. Pressure towards long once more. Device flashed off, shot off, and finds the first. Yeah, nice one to Swisher. Miss Dem still has that control. Confirms that there is no one else around this arch side. Kakanito tried his luck at a timing, but Zipex far too aware. This wrap. They should say. Yeah, I mean, it's very threatening now. A two-man advantage for Astralis. I do like Miss Dem trying to chase Zipex, but he's going to be kind of locked in now. Device. That's the bomb. He's got him dead to rights. And so a 12th. Just a couple of seconds away. There goes Miss Dem's head and their money too. Round loss will continue to extend. That's going to be third stage now. Game where there was a chance. Kakanito oh. with the spam. Not going to connect on to Blame, who is hyper-aggressive with Glaive and Zip They're flustered, toe. dude. They're so flustered right now. Yeah, they're just being bullied here in Banana. The double nades are not going to connect. This is a much more of a passive stance from ATK. Completely down the bottom of the T-stairs. See it. Missed them with a supportive flash available. They should try and take back this Banana control. There's the flash over the top. Blame will be forced to use that incendiary here. Not sure how much pressure was behind that $200 white screen. It's such a passive stance across the board here, though. On mid, there's no information here. Buzz in pit, device and zip towards long. Zip is actually starting to crawl back for info, and he's going to tuck in towards trash here. Bowden looking for the jump peak, but we can see that Blame and Glaive are both playing extremely passive on the site, and well, they used a lot of utility to get banana control. They are only left with this molly in the hands of Glaive here to stall this out. DJ and Swisher are coming back, and they are going to try and have a Hail Mary to close things out. A B execute looking likely here. Oh, met by an orb. Blame's okay, going to do it all here. Yeah, but he's sticking around, and Bowden's his free frag. No trade. Oh, Kakanito down as well. Blame! Does so much for Astralis, but they are into the site. This could be one hell of a retake if they go for it. Do they need to? Do they want to? They have cash! Oh. They should go for this. Device is on orp his on way. This is it. Swisher cannot miss this shot. Device, how ready is he? Swisher shut him down. This should be 15 OT at a minimum for ATK. But Buzz, Zipex, not willing to relent. An incendiary available could force the fight. Swisher responsible for CT will have to go wide to stop that defuse, but no time. And DJ's a dead man. Roasted down. Good chance. Okay, one on one. No time. Should be Swisher's frag every day of the week. Swisher, Swisher. Oh! Closer. 15 in the bank. ATK with two opportunities to knock Astralis out of Pro League. Damn, that one got real close. Only one player staying alive. The AW he retained right here, but the money is still in the bin for ATK. Why are they so poor? It feels like they haven't had everything they wanted in so long. That winning bonus is oh. not as nice as you think it sounds. Just not enough cash here to get out of full purchase. A great shot there from Bowden to open up the account. Blame, you said he did everything he could and more in that position. Two kills from him is great, but Swish with the AWP against Device on that rotation. Fantastic work from him and Zip. Just cool. or congregate now in towards Banana with this U-tool set. Glaive on the rotation. Buzz, he's being summoned over as well here. Zip has to stand tall while the rest of his team journeys on over to stall this one out and put 14 on the board for Astralis here. Or oh, ATK really going to knock the Danes out here today. It looks good for Astralis. They've got three in the right place at the right time. Smokes will go down. It's going to delay them further. You have to disrespect that smoke. You have to go. It's Zipex. Alone. Glaive flash. They need to clear this new box. Out of the second orange. Only the one, though. Okay, oh, pushing. Glaive, Glaive. Perfect Bob timing. Loose. Catches them loose now with 15 seconds. Someone has to hurry in. There's nades. They could get it down. Oh, oh problems. Huge problems for ATK. DJ's not here. DJ's not slow. here. They have to save. So relentless. And Bowden loses everything as well. We will see a full 30 rounds of play. Oh, this one just keeps on going. And a Galil saved of all weapons. Not an AWP, not an AK. The loss bonus with only 2,400 coming into this. They're going to have to get it done with just some pistols and Mac 10s. I loved what Astralis did there. Like, they knew that if, if they could just, if, if the attacking team, ATK, could have just five seconds to set up a post plan and get that bomb down, it's a, it's a horrible retake. But what they did is they just used every tool in their arsenal to make them uncomfortable relentlessly. Like Bowden, great frag, but look at this. They're constantly pushing the smoke. The nade from Glaive is magnificent. It gets That bomb would go down otherwise, unless you hit some crazy spray, Kakanito and fumble the jump. It has to be a B play yet again. It has to be a B play yet again. This nade, nuclear, the damage onto three, oh. make it four players. They're just going to have to pop and go. And Zip is going to fight his way through. He's gone down to Bowden. They're pushing Blame. It's up to Blame. He has to get something done. He has to. He's already been tagged down. 34 and falls. Is this really it? Two on the way in. 
with nothing but pistols, now recovered rifles. Plenty of util on this retake here. Smoke's available, uh, nades as well, flashes. There's kids. There's a chance for this. Astralis, three on five B retake, the impossible. I mean, this is a retake with so much at stake. A smoke could be recovered. Glaive will scoop it up, can smoke off the banana. Player's device onto DJ. Time of the essence. Smoke awkward peeking around it, playing up as Kakanito goes down to the flash and the spray and another from Buzz. Oh, OT, it's becoming a reality. Unless they can boost. He's on the defuse. He's on the defuse. They don't even know. We're off to overtime. 15, yes. baby. Yes. We're all tied up. Oh, 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 this is quite pacey. For Very switch. forward. Very forward. Yeah, might have to be careful with Glaive on the long side. Now they know the jig is up. Buzz alerted to the presence top mid here. Bowden trying to assume the line of Shaw and Buzz is just completely undetected. For the Whoa. double buzz, ringing in the ears of ATK right now as the fights just keep on coming and Astralis have found themselves here in overtime. Oh yeah, I mean there's just a surge of dopamine as you survive the two match of elimination. No worries, there's no long smoke at all, it's just at three quarters. Oh guys. And here comes the rotate, Kakanita will hear Device and Glaive right now. He can hear them from where he is, he will be shouting up a storm. They're here. They're already there. Ahead of the smoke, at least. It's going to be a tough one with the flashes there. Good crowd from the first, but Device's orb still racks up Odin. And just like that, ATK escorted off the premises by the Danish. And so with 17. Get out of the head. Now Device is in Bowden's. Who goes for that fight? Exactly, right? This is when Device is feeling the game again. Remember, not that long ago, we were talking about him not really having too much impact in the frag department. Now he's up to 24 kills in total, whereas players like Kakanito and Swisher have cooled. Kakanito and Swisher, I, had, I think, had 20 plus kills in the first half. Now they're sitting at 25 and 26, respectively. It's been very quiet for ATK throughout this T side campaign, and I don't think it's going to get much louder here in the third round of OT numero uno. It just doesn't feel like there's enough pressure on the Astralis players across the map here. When ATK are coming, you know that they're coming. Top mid control and banana control, they've been able to get it, but after that, not enough unknown. Tenacity from the Danish defense. It's an AX right here. Sweep, yeah. And still only one frag to boast over the course of three rounds of play. Buzz gets a good timing on his smoke. Worried about the balcony position, some chip damage, but it's all oh, a good flash. Device gonna get overwhelmed here, they know he's there. On of a run, Kakanito dead. No, he holds on with just the two HP. Buzz in pit, the only man left on the site. Miss Dem's going looking, I think he's gonna go down. Buzz, the impact from this young gun. Now it's an advantage for Astralis. ATK need this one. Kakanito opts for the AWP. Picks up Device's boomstick and hoping he can do some dirty work with it. Two HP, not enough for a head-to-head -head duel. It's up to Swisher. Head on a swivel, worried about Blame. Oh, he could look away. <gasps> Blame's coming. And down goes Buzz. Pit, not a threat, but Blame does connect. It's all on to Kakanito. Trying to delay the no scope. Hopeless. And there is enough time for the defuse. Oh, plenty of time for that defuse. Don't you worry about it all. Zip will secure that one. Grab 28 kills in total here. Zip, fantastic performance for him on Inferno, the vet. Getting things done in style. And yeah, this is the thing. That mental residue, that gunk. ATK are in it. My they, heart bleeds. Right? They're not, they're not experienced enough individuals and players in a team to be able to pull themselves out of it. And, and that's the problem. You know you should have won this game. You know oh. this should have been your game. But now you find yourself in a situation where that's all you're thinking about. We should have already won this. This should already be done. And it's simple to say, no, but just focus one round at a time. But that's what experience is all about. That's what coming close to picking up some of these matches and still keeping you cool. Oh, it Oh, it feels like they're getting a lot of control for free. They've already got this out themselves up second mid into the apps, and <gasps> that's the end. Oh, Swisher, he has to watch now the agonizing minute. 70 seconds just to elapse as he's helpless. Hand off the mouse and keyboard now biting his fingernails. Careful, Bowden. Bowden responsible for B. The problem is he feels so much pressure right now, right? It's only seen two pieces of utility. One was a flash and then the molly. The make of the third now with a second flash coming into play. But he's going to feel like he's under so much pressure that he needs support here. But Mistem, DJ and Kakanido cannot rotate. They have to stick to their guns here if they want to try and convert this round because the bomb is making its way back as Mistem is doing his best glaive impression. We'll be able to secure some information, but it's bad info. It forces him to the other side, and Kakanito's coming as well. It's just DJ. This is it, Alex. This 
is where it ends. DJ got so much to do. Does engage onto Glaive. He's surely dead now. Zipex will whittle away at his health. Gaganito staring at a smoke and a miraculous headshot. He keeps it level. Still almost impossible to win this round. Bomb goes down three on three. Device with the AWP power oh, position up here. Like you need Bowden to hit the cracker here. Oh, he's already fired off the shot and burnt down in the Molotov in the process. Bowden, six HP. Astralis just need three. And they will send the North American hopefuls home. Blame one. And it's all onto Miss Dem. Does recover. Needs two. Up and over. Nice dead spot. Missed shot from Device.